Long have we waited for the fourth season of Stranger Things, and now after finally getting a full length trailer, we know that the new season is giving us a new big bad. We've had Demogorgons, Demo Dogs, and the Mind Flayer just to name a few, but something gives me the feeling that this is Hawkins' most dangerous foe to date. I'm Matt Rogers and join me today as we discuss Season 4's new main villain, Vecna, and of course possible spoilers for Season 4. Now I'm bringing all the latest news and updates for Stranger Things and delivering it straight to your subscription feed, so to stay up to date and support the channel be sure to hit that like button, subscribe and ring that bell to not miss a single thing. The Upside Down has spawned all kinds of nightmares in seasons past, but never has one looked quite like this. I guess humanoid, to use that word loosely. This creature, who has been confirmed to be named Vecna, can be heard saying you have lost at the end of the season 4 trailer. You have lost. Implying that he, at some point, gains the upper hand over the show's heroes. And who knows, maybe even succeed in whatever his evil plans may be. As we saw in movies like Avengers Infinity War, the villain can win sometimes, which allows for a climactic comeback for the heroes in the finale. And Stranger Things has been confirmed to end with Season 5, so it could happen. Vecna could pull a Thanos-style move, which I would personally love to see. Let's just hope we don't have to wait another three years for the next instalment. But what do we know about Vecna? Well, the name, like many other Upside Down creatures' names, comes from the role-playing game Dungeons & Dragons, which is, of course, the tabletop game played by the kids as early as the first season, and has helped them understand the enemies that they've faced thus far. In Dungeons & Dragons, Vecna is a deity, also known as the Whispered One or the Undying King, and he is best described as a kind of undead wizard. The show's producers have confirmed that in Stranger Things, Vecna was once a human who mutated into a monster from overexposure to the Upside Down. This confirmation has caused fans to question if we may even know the character underneath. Is it Billy? Barb even? Who knows, but it is unlikely considering some details provided by the show's production designer, Barry Gower, who has said, Quote, what's happened is he's been subjected to all of the environments and the surroundings of the Upside Down, basically for 20 odd years. So the look for Vecna is he's humanoid, but we are basically integrating lots of shapes and textures and form from the Upside Down. There's a lot of roots and vines and very organic shapes and fibrous muscle tissues and what have you. End quote. It does appear that the producers have drawn inspiration from the original Vecna from Dungeons and & Dragons and made him their own. My guess is that the motives of the character will remain the same though, as he has been described in Dungeons & Dragons as having a never-ending thirst for power, and if his plans are successful, it'll end with him as the only deity in existence. Sounds right on brand following characters like the Mind Flayer. Co-creator Ross Duffer has given us a bit of an insight into how Vecna will tie into the story, and it stems from a family known as the Creels. In the 1950s, Victor Creel, played by Nightmare on Elm Street's Robert Englund, was your typical suburban dad who fell victim to his house in Hawkins, which, due to unforeseen circumstances, possessed him to kill his entire family. Vecna is apparently the boogeyman that resides in the Creel house attic. Episode 2 of Season 4 will be named Vecna's Curse. My guess is Vecna's presence alone is enough to get you to do his bidding, which makes him a dangerous opponent. Duffer has said, quote, part of the drive and tension in this season is that we have this big new evil emerge in Hawkins, and for the first time ever, Eleven is not there. And not only is she separated by distance, but at the end of season three, she's also lost her powers. So even when she's learnt about what's happened in Hawkins, she's unable to help them in the same way she has before, end quote. But what villain is complete without minions, and Vecna will have demo bats. Co-creator Matt Duffer has confirmed that one of these bats alone is not very dangerous, but when there's hundreds and hundreds of them coming at you at the same time, they're very deadly. They also have the ability to act as spies. So you may not even see one, and then suddenly, because everything is a hive mind in the Upside Down, every monster in there knows that you're there. God, they don't make it easy for these poor Hawkins citizens, do they? But let's talk about his look. As soon as I saw him in the trailer, I was immediately reminded of old school classic horror villains where prosthetics were used and everything wasn't all CGI. The more practical effects, the better, if you ask me. Gower, the production designer, has said that they used skin tight prosthetics on the actor and used fiberglass and epoxy resin molds to craft warped shapes around him. Gower has said, quote, it's still very much a human beneath it, and we still have panels of flesh which are very pale, almost anemic looking, and the 
idea really is that the exposed flesh that is pale is human skin that hasn't seen sunlight for the past 20 years." End quote. From everything we know so far, all signs point to a complex and powerful villain, and that's exactly what we've come to expect from the hit show. Stranger Things will be premiering Volume 1 of Season 4 on May 27th, followed by Volume 2 on July 1st. Do you think Vecna will be powerful enough to overthrow Hawkins and overpower Earth with the Upside Down? Or will the kids do what they do best and add Vecna to their growing list of defeated villains? I'd love to hear what you think, so let me know. I'll be down there in the comments. But if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for weekly videos covering your favourite movies and TV shows. If you subscribe during this video, then welcome aboard, and if you had a good time hanging out, then spank that like button. This is Matt Rogers, and that is all.